Hello, guys. Hi, Hello. Ada. Hi, Hello, Angelica. Teacher. Hello, David. Hello, Gilberto. Hello, Eunice. Are you ready for this class? That's yes. the attitude. Okay, let me tell you something today. And I would like to participate with you in all, all the activities for today. But we have just one, one student that will be, uh, he will be participating uh, by chat in S on easy for some special circumstance. But the other one, please help me a lot. Okay, guys, just give me a try to share my screen and we will be able to talking about again food. If you remember yesterday, uh, we were talking about our favorite dish and also about the food pyramid. We learned how to say berenjena in English. Someone do you, uh, some, does someone remember how do you say berenjena in English? Mm -hmm. Eggplant or egg Yeah, plant. eggplant. That's right, egg. Angelica. And as I mentioned today, we are talking about traditional food. And also we are talking about the other culture food. For example, in order to start, I will be asking to you, Angelica, what's your favorite kind of food? It could be Chinese food, or Mexican food, or whatever food that you want. ¿Cuál es mi comida favorita? Mm -hmm. eh, ¿En general o, o, o en especial en algún...? Vaya, la pregunta es, ¿cuál es tu comida favorita? Eh, no es en especial un plato, porque cuando se pronuncia por plato, se pregunta por plato, es, what is your favorite dish? Pero aquí es comida. Puedes decir que te gusta la italiana, la mexicana, la salvadoreña, la colombiana, o cualquier comida en el que tú hayas probado. Y si oh, no okay. sabes de dónde es, Puedes decirme cuál es tu favorite dish and together we will help into you to discover where it's from that dish. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, my favorite food uh, is the Chinese. Chinese food. And uh, the Peruan. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se en the nationality, la nacional. Uh -huh. The national food. The national food. Peruan. Let me try to find how do you say Peruan. Remember, guys? When you don't know how to say something, you can do that. And a question mark. And listen. Peruvian food. Repeat after me, Angelica. Peruvian food. Peruvian food. I like the Chinese, Peruvian, and national food. Yes. Again, I like. I like food. But, no, um, uh, try to omit food. I like Peruvian, Chinese, and national food. Okay, primero, primero la nacionalidad. Uh, mm -hmm. Remember, uh, y es como, ¿cómo se podría? Redundante, es la palabra que ocupamos en español. Cuando ocupamos dos veces food. 
Porque my favorite food is, mi comida favorita es, o oh, podría decir, mi comida favorita es la peruana, salvadoreña y la china. Por eso omitimos decir, my favorite food is, o oh, my, oh, my, yes, let me verify this. Just give me a second. Yes, you are right. You are right. Tú estás bien, Angelica. My favorite food is Chinese, Peruvian, and national food. Yes? Yes. Sorry, you... tenía problema. Tú lo dijiste bien. Ahora bien, Ada, can you help us? What is your favorite food? My favorite food is a Mexican food and Chinese food. Thank you. What about you, Gilberto? My favorite food is Mexican food. Thank you. And traditional food. Traditional food. Mm. No, ¿cómo sería eh, la de aquí, national, la de nosotros? National food. National food. Or you can say Salvadorian okay. food. Oh, okay. Mm, what about you, David? Uh, my favorite food is the Korean street food. Thank you, David. It's a nice. What about you, El? Typing on the chat, please. Ay. Ah, nice. Um, sí, creo que voy a poder hablar un poquito ahora. Go ahead, Eo. Uh, my favorite food is uh, Salvadorian food. I like the loroco. I like the flor de isote. I like notates. <laughs> Todo lo salvadoreño me encanta. Y luego, pues, Mexican food. Nice. De todo lo que mencionaste, solo la flor de isote, lo único que creo que no deberíamos de comer es nuestro flor nacional, señores. No, cono rica. no conozco otro país que come su flor nacional, pero bueno. Right now, <risa> yes, I would like, and also I, I'm looking for a video, and I would like to share with you this video. It's about food. Just give me a second. Where is that interview? It's not here. Just give me a break, guys. It's it's not here. Okay, don't worry, guys. Se los voy a enviar por por chat, pero es una entrevista de un famoso director de películas que él firmó una película about the eighties in Los Angeles. And in the middle of the interview, the announcer asked them, "Hey, and let me know." What's your favorite food? Ah, and he said, I love pupusas. And my favorite uh, Latin food is yuca. And he said that. I will show that uh, video later, guys. Right now, we will continue and we will, it's time to watch a video. 
I will play this video. And after that video, we will be able to make a little test together. Please, if you don't have open your platform, open right now, guys. I will play this video right now, guys. Just give me a break. I know the audio is one. In this class, you learn what count. Lo escuchan? Yes. Thank you. I will play the video right now. And non count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How about some sandwiches? which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. 
Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. For example, I need some eggs. I don't need any milk. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the group, can only use. Muy bien, guys. If we can notice, this video is about countable and uncountable or non countable. When we are talking about um, in negative, we use any to answer. But what about questions? And David, can you tell me, I can use any or some to make questions? Um, only, only the word any? Only the word any, okay, it depends. Nosotros para poder preguntar si podemos ocupar ambos, some or any. Pero el momento de venir y hacer la respuesta, si es positiva, vamos a ocupar some. Si es negativa, vamos a ocupar any. And we can see this. I will play a video one more time if you need uh, to clarify this. Or not. Also, I would like to tell you something. We are countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns are eggs or egg, a sandwich or sandwiches. And as I chose yesterday, are many, but many uncountable nouns. For example, rice, cereal, jam, milk are uncountable nouns, uncountable, apple and apple, apples, orange and orange, a salad, a fries, a burger, burgers, fries, a vegetable, cookies, potato, potato, candy, candies, hot dog, hot dogs, carrot, carrots, tomato, tomatoes, we have many of those. Ahora bien. Recordemos algo. Nuevamente. Este video está más que todo enfocado en any, some. Any and some. ¿Qué significa any? What's the meaning of any? Ninguno. It depends on your contest. Porque puede suceder que signifique ninguno o aquí, si lo preguntamos, do we need any X? Sería ilógico preguntar, ¿necesitas ningún huevo? Ninguno o alguno sería entonces. Ajá. It depends on the contest. Porque... Depende del contexto, nosotros vamos a saber qué ocuparlo. Ahora bien, si yo te pregunto, o hagamos esta actividad, guys. Eh, me imagino que todos podemos hacer sándwiches, ¿correcto? Así andan al menos con la cabeza diciendo que sí pueden hacer sándwich. Ok. Sí. A sándwich. What are the ingredients for a sándwich? I will ask you to just... An ingredient per person. Ada, tell me an ingredient to make a sandwich. Um, tomato. Gilberto, next ingredient. Mayo. 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 David, next ingredient to make a... bread. Bread. Thank you. Angelica. Lettuce. Lerus. Lerus. Eunice. Avocado. No sé cómo se dice. Avocado. 
-huh. It's okay. And jam or ham. Ham. Porque lo vamos a hacer de jamón. We will make a ham sandwich. And cheese. And cheese, okay. Let me ask him to you and you will be answered to me with some or any. Do we need any any onion to make a sandwich? Uh -huh, Gilberto, do we need any onion to make a sandwich? I don't need any onion. No, we don't need any onions. Remember? Mm -hmm. Ni, eh, no, and then if it's the same subject that we I use in this question, it's necessary that you use in the answer. El mismo sujeto que vos ocupaste, al menos aquí en esta pregunta, lo vamos a ocupar para la misma respuesta. Ahora bien, let me ask you to. To Ada, do we need any mustard to make a sandwich? Uh, no, we don't need any mustard. Mustard. Mustard is this one. Let me let me show you. Mostaza. Most. Mustard. How do you pronounce it? Le... Ok, no, we don't need eh, any monster. Mustard. Repeat. Mustard. 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 Monster. It's, it's, similar. Mm -hmm. it's similar to say monster, but it's monster. Okay. Similar. But sometimes I like to, to use monster to make a, a sandwich. In this kind of cases, I need that you tell me in positive way that we need a monster to make this sandwich. Perdón, eh, no escuché bien. Bueno, ahora dime lo que sí lo vamos a ocupar. Ah, ok. Eh, we, we need some, some bread. Monster. Ah, we need some monster. Monster. You are doing great. It's some. It's some at school. Mm. Let me try to do it in a different way. Let me try to, oh, sorry, my bad. Okay, let me try to do it in a different way. Okay, I will share this one. This is a receipt and I will ask him to you if we need or not. Just give me a second. Okay. Uh, do we need some some chicken for this uh, salad? 
Si ustedes no miran lo que le estoy preguntando aquí, es no. Si ustedes ven el ingrediente que le estoy preguntando aquí, es sí. And it's the time of David. Oh, sorry, Angelica. Angelica, do we need any chicken for this salad? Mm, no, we don't need any chicken. Thank you. David, do we need any lettuce for this salad? Yes, we need some lettuce. Thank you. Eunice, do we need a spinach for this salad? No, we don't need. Mm -hmm. Remember the structure. This one. Again, El Eu, please. If you cannot uh, talk right now, you can type in the questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, we don't need any spinach. Mm -hmm. Yes, spinach. Okay. Spinach. Remember, spinach. Si nosotros spinach. vemos una S al final, no la vamos a poner S, spinach. No, spinach. Es como, eh, es como un silbidito. Es como, como cuando le llamamos a los peritos. Así. Es spinach. Ok. Yes, we need, but in this case, for this salad, EU said no. It's your time, and let me ask him to you, Ada. Um, do we need any arugula for this salad? Las más difíciles. Yes, uh, we need some arugula for this salad. Decís que es lo más difícil y lo pronuncias muy bien. <laughs> <laughs> It's just try to think about this. It's not so difficult. Just I need to practice a little bit more. Okay, you are doing great. Right now, I'll, it's time to make this one. It's a little test. I know you are so smart. Um, please open your platform in this moment. Si ya lo tienen abierta, lo vamos a hacer ahorita. Instruction. Complete the conversation with some or any. Amanda, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Este es un ejemplo. Adam. Well, we have a lot of potatoes. Let's make. Some. Thank you. Okay. I will need participants. Gilberto will be Adam and Ada will be, no, Angelica will be Amanda. Okay. okay. Amanda, it's your turn. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? Uh -huh. Gilberto? No, we need to buy uh, any. Are you sure? Look at this question. Do we have any mayonnaise? Do we have? And the answer is no. But no. we need no, to... No, we need to, bu uh, to buy any. Some. Some. Porque es posit positivo. No, no intentes eh, traducirlo. Pero aquí te está preguntando si ya lo tienen. Y él te dijo, no, no lo tenemos, pero sí lo necesitamos. ¿Ve? We need. We need to buy. So, okay, 
right now, David, you will be Adam right now, and Ada will be Amanda. Amanda, please. We need uh, two pies. Aquí, we need. Ay, estoy con confundida. Ajá, we need. Uh -huh. Any or some? Uh, some, okay. We need some onions too. Ajá, porque le está diciendo, no es una pregunta. We need some onions too. That's positive. Okay. Yeah. Remember, when we are talking about positive, it's some. Negative, any. In question, it could be both. Okay, it's your turn, David. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate, I hate onions. You are doing great. Ew, your turn. You will be Amanda. And... Porque no hay otro varón. Porque no hay otro varón, voy a hacer Adam. Bueno, yes, Eu. Some. Yes, then let's get some celery. Ahora, pregunta del millón. What's the meaning of celery? Uh -huh. Señores, ¿qué significa celery? Apio. Apio. Yeah, David. And also the other girl that said apio, you are doing great. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. Next one, it would be again Gilberto and Angelica. Gilberto? But, but let's put uh, some apple in it. Angelica, please. Uh, ap apples in potato salad. That sounds uh, awful. 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 Okay, what's the okay. meaning of awful? Horrible. Feo. Awful es un sentimiento de incomodidad o feo. Okay. I appreciate so much, guys, all your participation. It's time to verify. Oh, you are doing great. But repeat after me. The store doesn't have any potato salad. The store, the store doesn't have any potato, any potato salad. salad. Okay, well. Well. We have a lot of potatoes. We have a lot of potatoes. We have a lot of potatoes. Let's make some. Let's make some. Let's make some. Let's make some. Okay. 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 Do we have any mayonnaise? Do we okay. have any mayonnaise? Do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. No, no. we need, no, to, buy need some. to buy some. We need some onions too. We need some, we need onions, some too. onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. Oh, I, I don't, don't, want, I don't any want any onions. I hate onions. I hate, I hate onions. onions. And then let's get some celery. Then let's, then let's celery. get some celery. Okay. Remember, uh, first of all, 
A nuestro parroquial, no hay problema, Andrea. Eh, estamos hablando sobre comida. Eh, perfecto. Solo te voy a pedir que abras tu plataforma y que nos ayudes con la participación. Ahora volviendo al tema. Remember, this is a tip. If we have some troubles making a pronunciation of a sentence, try to divide it. Then. 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 Let's get. Then. Let's, let's get. get. Let's get. Some celery. Some, some celery. celery. Then let's get. Then, then let's, let's get. get. Good. Some celery. Some celery. Some celery. Some celery. Then let's get some celery. Then let's then get let's some celery. celery. Okay. No. 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 I don't want any celery in my, in my potato salad. I don't, I don't want, want any celery any in celery my potato salad. salad. I don't want any celery in my potato salad. Thank you. But. 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 Let's put some apples in it. Let's put some, let's put, let's put some apples, apples in, in it. it. Apple in it. Again, guys. But. 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 Let's put. Let's, let's, put, let's put, put some apple in it. Some apples in it. Some apples, apples in, it. in it. Ahora, vamos a leerlo de corrido. But let's put some apples in it. But let's put some apples but, in it. Some apples but in let's it. put some apples in it. Ustedes me hacen tan feliz, guys. Pero feliz, feliz de ver cómo avanza. Ok, the, le the last one. ¿Apples in potato salad? ¿Apples in potato salad? in potato salad. That sounds awful. Thank you, Andrea. That sounds awful. That sounds awful. Ok. okay. Eh, Andrea. Es una keyword la que le he dado un tips. Es que cuando nosotros tenemos problemas para pronunciar, vamos a dividir la sentence. Procuramos dividirla en tres partes, luego en dos y luego la leemos de corrido. Para que no se pierda. Ahora vamos con la siguiente. By the end of this class, you will learn about common bread foods in different countries. Additional. You will practice a conversation with illustrated some cultural difference in food. Right now, guys, I will play a video. And you will learn about a breakfast in other countries. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Let's get started by learning what people in the U.S., Japan, and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The U.S. Eggs Bacon Toast with butter Orange juice Coffee Jam. Jelly. Japan. Fish. Rice. Soup. Pickles. Green tea. Mexico. Eggs. Beans. Tortillas. Fresh fruit. Sweet bread. Coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? 
We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now it's your turn to practice this conversation along with the vocabulary. You may watch this video as many times as necessary. I would also like for you to answer the following question in our discussion forums. What do you have for breakfast? Okay, guys, just let me verify something. No problem, Angelica. If you are here, uh, I know it's raining around the country and we have technical issues with our connection. But don't worry, if you are here and try to participate, I will be more than glad. Okay, if I not mistake, David, Ada, Angelica, and what else? And Gilberto, I guess, likes Mexican food. Am I right? ¿Le gusta la comida mexicana a ustedes, verdad? Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes. If you can see, Mexico has like a normal breakfast. Why? Because they have eggs, as in our country. They have coffee, as in our country sweet bread and fresh fruit. Also, we have breads, it's and beans sometimes, and bananas to it. It could be, okay, when I said bananas, it is include lo que conocemos como plátanos. La palabra plátano no tiene ninguna traducción Ni tampoco se ocupa plátano en inglés. Es conocido como banana. In our breakfast, in national breakfast, we use beans, bananas, cheese, bread, and eggs. This is a typical breakfast in our country and also in Mexico. What about China? Someone, do you know what's the China breakfast? Alguien tiene una idea de cómo serán los breakfast en China? Rice. Ahorita lo descubrimos. Con el green tea. Ramen. El green tea. Macarrones. El green tea es para japonés, eh, Andrea. Andrea, aquí estamos aprendiendo un poco sobre las culturas. Y al igual como que nos digan a nosotros, hondureños, algunas personas se sienten agraviadas, otras dicen, no, pero yo soy salvadoreño. A mucha honra, es cierto, vivimos en, en el mismo continente o parte del continente, pero yo soy salvadoreño, no soy hondureño. Muchas personas dicen lo mismo. Lo mismo sucede con Japón. Si nosotros decimos, O le decimos que un chino come esto para el desayuno, él probablemente se siente un poco indignado porque va a creer que estás siendo racista. Por eso, what is the national breakfast? It's dumpling. Breakfast dishes in China are why different from region to region. Chinese people, people usually eat soybean, milk, and deep fried dog stick, a dumpling. Dumpling and some bean milk. Es como leche de soya, es lo que ellos desayunan, y dumplings. Eso es para los que les le gusta la comida china. What about... Y the... los noodles son así como fideitos, como maruchan. Mm -hmm. And the noodles... Es un tipo de pasta. Son los fideos como los que miras en las marrochan. Noodles es algo muy distinto a macaron and spaghettis.
look at this. Noodles are like a teeny spaghetti. Son delgados. Look at this. Oh, it's missing an H. Si te fijas, los espaguetis son más gruesecitos. No hay ninguno que se parezca al ramen. O al chaumín. Y están los macarrones, que es otro tipo de pasta. Son como los coditos. Ok, right now. No puede dar el contexto de esto, Evo, que no entiendo por qué no y después rame. Es que usted preguntaba que si alguno tenía idea de breakfast japonés, entonces uh -huh. yo escribí no. Y luego hablaban de videos y a mí se me ocurrió el rame. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate so much that. Ok, right now we already know that the Chinese people usually have ate for breakfast dumpling and soya bean milk. What about you? Let me ask him to you today, David. Uh, let me verify. Yes, we can discuss this. Okay, David, can you tell me what was your breakfast? ¿Cuál fue tu desayuno el día de hoy? My breakfast was a cereal with Milk or with uh, milk with cereal? It doesn't matter. It's the same one. But thank you. What about you, Ada? What was your breakfast for today? Uh, today, my breakfast was a sandwich with uh, ham. Ham. Ham with ham and cheese. Wow. Uh, Cheese sandwich. Mm -hmm. Nice. What about you, Eunice? What was your breakfast for today? My breakfast for today was tamales de elote. Corn. <laughs> corn tamales. Mm -hmm. Corn tamales. Delicious. What about you, Andrea? What was your breakfast for today? Andrea, ¿estás ahí? ¿Podrías ayudarnos, por favor? Ok, creo que está teniendo problemas. Angélica, what was your breakfast for today? My breakfast today was uh, pancakes and I drink orange juice. Wow, my God. What about you, Gilberto? What was your breakfast for today? My breakfast today was pupusas. My breakfast for today was pupusas. Nice. Revueltas or just being with cheese? Revuelta. Cool. My breakfast for today, guys, was a cup of coffee and two toasts. Dos tostadas. Okay, guys, right now we already know how to speak about breakfast. I would like to practice the conversations between those girls, but it doesn't matter if I use the full screen because the letters are too small. For that reason, we will skip that part and we will continue. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use other of frequency when talking about food. But first of all, someone, do you know? Yes. Do you know, guys, 
what are the adverbs of frequency? ¿Saben, chicos, cuáles son los adverbios de frecuencia? Every day. Often. Mm -hmm. That's right. Let me share my screen for some of them. Those are adverbs of frequency. It's always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, never. Also, we have some structure about this. Repeat after me, guys. Always. 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 Usually. 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 Again, Gilberto. Usually. Thanks. Often. 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 Thank you. Sometimes. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly, Hardly ever. ever. Hardly ever. Rarely. 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 <laughs> Eh, es, esta es una de las más difíceles. Ra, re, li. Ra, re, Ra, 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 li. Es como ra, re. Ra, re, li. Ra, re, li. You rock, Andrea. Again. Ra, re, li. Ra, re, li. Ra, 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 and the last one, never. 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 A mí me cuesta decir har hardly. Hardly. Eh, ¿Te recuerdas el, el actor que hace la película de Venom? ¿Cómo se llama él? Mm, no. Bueno, él se llama Harley. Es lo mismo. Harley. Harley. Es como decir Harley. Harley, pero es hard, the hard. Harley. Mm -hmm. Harley. Harley. Es eso. Como ejercicio para que puedas pronunciarlo mejor, dividir la palabra. Hard, de duro o difícil, en Lee. Harley. 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 Harley ever. Ok. Right now, let me tell you, always is for the 100% of the time. I always take a shower in the morning. Usually it's for a night, it's almost, almost always. But for example, I usually charge my cell phone at night. Often, Es un poquito más bajo. Es algo que sí hacemos seguido, pero no con mucha frecuencia. It could be... Deme un ejemplo de algo que ustedes hagan, no tan frecuentemente, pero si lo hagan con regularidad. Workout. Vale, workout. I often work out in the morning. Casi siempre hago ejercicio en la mañana. Sometimes it's 50-50. Um, for example, we sometimes watch a video per class. Sometimes we do, and someone we don't. Hardly ever. That means that it's so rarely. For example, I hardly ever be on time on my classes. Yo casi siempre estoy en, a tiempo en mis clases. O raramente estoy a tiempo en mis clases. And never. I never going to um, 
going to US without papers. This is an example, guys. Well, guys, it's missing just three minutes. I will send it to you this picture and also look at this. Este es el orden que nosotros ocupamos. Siempre vamos a ocupar en positivo esto, porque los negativos serían never, hardly ever, que son los adverbios de frecuencia. Por eso siempre va a ir sujeto, el adverbio de frecuencia y el verbo. Si se fijan, aquí está un ejemplo. O puede ser el sujeto, el verbo to be y el adverbio de frecuencia. Ahora bien, ¿qué hay sobre las preguntas? Como toda pregunta, it's auxiliary verb, subject, and then it could be a frequency adverb or a verb. This is an example. Are you always late? Are you always on time in class? Does Andrea often do the homework? And as a negative, you can say, she never be late on classes, or she is not never late on classes. Si se fijan, la negativa no existe. ¿Por qué? Porque la negativa la vamos a poner siempre en positiva, pero vamos a ocupar el adverbio de frecuencia negativos. Los adverbios negativos son estos dos. Si está bajo de 50, son negativos. ¿Les quedó claro? Yes, teacher. ¿Y qué hay de los demás? Me too. Vaya, vale, tenemos dos. Gilberto, ¿entendió? Yes. Andrea, ¿entendió? No tenga pena, dígalo. Angélica, ¿entendió? Eunice, ¿entendió? Yes. Ok. I will send it to you this picture and this other one. Porque estos también son adverbios de frecuencia. Once, twice, three times, four times. Also, I will send it to you the PDF because this is the last time. Este es el último tema que vamos a ver esta clase. Y abarca pues el resto de las de la sección 3, perdón, 4. Mañana intentaré enviarles a temprana hora este documento PDF que contiene lo que ya vimos este, eh, los días anteriores, junto con un video que habla sobre los adverbios de frecuencia. ¿Por qué? Porque a pesar de ser un tema entre paréntesis simple y muy común, pueden haber muchos mistakes o usually o como mistake que cometemos al momento de hablarlo. Es todo de mi parte. Si tienen algo que agregar a la clase, soy todo oído, señores. Ok, it's time to say goodbye. See you tomorrow, guys. And thank you for being in my class. Good night. See you tomorrow.